I really feel like Esher is a ticking time bomb. You never know what's going to happen and when it's going to happen. It's a story the ABC 15 investigators brought you last week. Devastating stories from thousands of women who say they're suffering side effects from a permanent birth control. Tonight, ABC 15 investigator Lauren Gilger is taking action again with a new warning about Esher because this investigation has now taken a serious turn. I have three children. I work at lightning speed. And when someone told me I could go in and get this procedure done and go back to work that afternoon or the next morning, I'm like, absolutely, sign me up. I wanted the latest and greatest. When these women decided they didn't want any more children, they chose to get Esure birth control because they were told it was cheaper, faster, and less invasive than getting their tubes tied. Without surgery, coils are placed inside the fallopian tubes, blocking conception. I don't like being the guinea pig. But now, after years of painful side effects they say were caused by this FDA-approved medical device, their easy route turned into a nightmare. I'm only 30. I shouldn't have had to get a hysterectomy this early. None of us should have. I had a partial hysterectomy in July. They took everything out except my ovaries. <laughs> And I'm still having complications. Thousands of these women have taken to social media to speak out about the life changing side effects they've experienced since getting you sure. Most of them related to an allergy to nickel, a component of the coils. Women describe extreme bloating, skin rashes, and headaches. X rays show the coils perforated the fallopian tubes, and reports describe coils breaking or misfiring in dozens of women. 838 reports of these types of adverse events with Eshore were also filed with the Food and Drug Administration. And now the ABC 15 investigators found a new report detailing a woman's death, also filed as an adverse event involving Eshore. A physician describes a patient who had the Eshore coils implanted this year going to the emergency room with abdominal pain. There, doctors found her cervix, fallopian tubes, and uterus were necrotic. Her organs were dying. On August 26th, the patient went into renal failure and passed away. We have to get the FDA and people involved so that we can, you know, they can raise awareness. We reached out to the Food and Drug Administration for comment on this report, but they did not provide a response by the time our story aired. We also reached out to Bayer, the current manufacturer of Eshore. They provided this statement. Although we do not comment on individual adverse events, we do take all adverse events seriously, and they are reported to the U.S. FDA as required. There is a manufacturer narrative on the report stating the medical opinion of the attending physician was that the cause of death was not directly related to the Esher inserts or procedure. Bayer would not elaborate on this explanation or confirm that they provided it. I'm investigator Lauren Gilger, ABC 15 News. We've